Hi, I'm Martina Riley. Uh, welcome to Where I Write. Uh, this is my room. It's a small room in a, a dormer bungalow. Um, and this here is my favourite part of it. It's basically a wall uh, plastered with posters of most of my books. Uh, my husband did it for me when I was out one night and I came back and this was done. So it was very romantic and it was great. Um, so there's like um, all sorts of ones up there and even posters from kind of Pat Kenny's show from years ago. So it was lovely to see it. He dug them all out of the attic and put them up. And um, this, these are my bookshelves uh, on the other wall. I'm trying to give you a sense of the space. Um, there's books that I have read, books I've enjoyed, books that I have yet to read. There's plays, there's poetry. And I've also got the shelf kind of dotted with little things that mean a lot to me. Um, this here is a very battered uh, first cover of my very first teenage book. It's Livewire. Um, it's about 18 years old, that, and the frame is completely dodgy, but I wouldn't get rid of it. Um, there's also a mask from a play I directed called uh, Dirt Tracks, which is based on one of my books. Um, this here, um, these are a few children from my speech and drama school that I used to teach, and we were marching in the St. Patrick's Day Parade at that time. Um, so that's, there's not, not much else I can tell you about that, but that's the, the bookshelves. Over here then, is a wall again with uh, posters of my books and um, some translations um, and just my favourite covers really of kind of the books that I like. Uh, this here is a framed picture of the play I directed, Dirt Tracks. The cast gave that to me at the end and it um, just has a picture of the cast, a picture of me and then they've kind of written all their comments um, around here, uh, you know, uh, so that was great. Um, there's another play I did and another play I was actually in and that's me if you can see that with blonde hair um, And it was in the shock run, I think and uh, it was a good ad laugh. There was a gang of us in the cast Then there's Johnny Depp and um, he is here for no reason at all other than that. I like looking at him um, And he leaves me lost for words. So maybe he's a bad person to have in here and um, these are my books And um, this here is um, a dog that was given to me uh, years and years ago, there's a dog barking outside there. <laughs> uh, years and years ago by my mother's friend, uh, we used to call her our Nana Darcy. And she gave me this because she said, Martina likes animals, I'm going to give her that. And he has been with me um, through everything, really. He sat on my table during my junior cert and my leaving cert. He sits with me when I'm writing. Um, he doesn't tend to bring me a lot of luck, actually, <laughs> but I love him. Um, and really, when she gave it to me, I brought it into school and put it on my desk. And the teacher said, where'd you get that? And I said, my Nana Darcy gave it to me. And she said, oh, she said, is she your mother's mother? And I said, no, she's my Nana Darcy. We have three Nanas. And in 1970s Ireland, that was not a thing that you really got away with saying. And uh, there was a bit of a consternation. How could I have three Nanas? Um, but I did, uh, though she was a Nana by just default. So uh, that's him. Um, this is my dog, uh, Taylor. Taylor sits at me during the day when I write. Um, she's a great ad companion and the rug that's beside her there, she actually ate that. Um, I can't get it out of underneath the desk so it's totally destroyed but um, she's she stopped all that now which is great. And then um, what else have I got uh, that I can show you? Oh yeah, this is, these are some, this is the Bisto Book Awards. I won one of that for my teenage books and I just have the things framed and put up on the wall because it's nice to win something. And then this was a spoof of the Daily Mirror that my husband did for me. And uh, it was basically the fact that I hit it big. I sold 25 books and hit it big. And uh, <laughs> so that was it. And then finally, uh, I've been writing all my life. And these are some copies that I had growing up. And what I used to do was actually I used to write in them. And this was, uh, say, from my second year history copy. So this is all my history homework. And then a C plus, that was good. Um, I basically um, started writing during the summer when I had pages left, chapter one. Um, and what I thought for the laugh is I'd read you out a little bit of this. This was my gang book. And I wrote it I when I was... a tweet, Martina, oh. from uh, Kira saying, tell us a little bit about that day in June. Oh, that day in June, yes. I this love is... that you kept your copies from school, from oh, school else. Yeah. This is, oh, that's the wrong one. Um, that day in June is here. This is it. Um, it's a story, really. Um, it's about two people uh, called Max and Sandy. 
And Sandy is a runaway. She's left um, kind of her unhappy home life and run, in, run, run to Dublin with no idea really how to live in the world. So she's on the streets. And then Max is a very successful on the surface businessman. And every day he comes to Sandy and gives her um, a cup of coffee. And um, they build up a very kind of, they build up a relationship really. And then one day Max doesn't come. And Sandy is left feeling very alone, very abandoned, and she goes in search of him. And the story, I suppose, is about the two of them and their relationship and um, basically how both of them find their way back into the world uh, through each other. So that's what that day in June is about. Um, and uh, yeah, these are, are all my old copies. Um, and yes, and I'm currently writing another book now called The Scent of Apples and uh, provisionally called The Scent of Apples. And that's about two teenagers who break into a house one evening. Uh, one of them escapes and the other is caught. And what happens um, haunts them really for the next 15 years until an event happens that kind of um, brings it all into focus really and, and helps them confront their past. So that's it really. Um, I've got and nothing else. Someone wants you to read a bit from oh, your sorry. gang books. Oh, well? my gang books. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. This is a little bit from. I wrote it when I was eleven. It was about a gang of teenagers who hung around together, and they were all really cool, and they all were really nice people. And this is um, this is about the guy in the called Paul, and um, Anna was the he the heroine of the book. So they were at a, a disco or something, and uh, this is this is a, it's only a tiny bit. Paul was tall. He had deep sparkling blue eyes and black hair. On him, he had a ska jacket, because they were the rage back then, and a pair of jeans. When I first um, teamed up with the gang, I had such a crush on him, said Mary, laughing. Had you, said Anna. Yeah, said Mary. I used to hang around walls just to see him, and if he talked to me, I was in seventh heaven. Anna laughed. Don't you like him anymore, she asked. Oh, yes, I like him, but I don't fancy him, said Mary. Why do you? This was such an embarrassing question that Anna blushed, but luckily under the lights, you couldn't actually see the colour of a person's face. So that's it. So listen, thanks a million for joining me. And um, if you get the books, I hope you enjoy them. Thanks. Bye.